with remote play as well as a second screen. <coughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need to do is go on your PS Vita. Let's get in focus here and go down to the PS4 link application and go ahead and open that up. And then once you're on this screen, uh, you need to now move back over to the PS4. So let's get that back into focus as well. Okay. So, now once you've done that, that was real quick, um, you need to go on the PS4 over to Settings. And hop right down here to PS Vita Connection Settings. So click on that. Now, once you're in here, uh, you need to make sure Remote Play is enabled, as well as directly connect with PS Vita, because uh, if you have this checked, it will connect you uh, with the PS4 to the PS uh, Vita directly via a private local network uh, and not over an actual internet connection. So if you select this option, the PS Vita's Remote Play will be much more smooth and much faster. Uh, this is depending on if you're doing this uh, at your house. Now, if you're out and about, uh, you're going to, of course, need to uncheck this if you're wanting to do it via internet. So, uh, that's that. So, now, if you want to actually add a PS Vita to your device list, you need to hit Add Device. Uh, just like the PlayStation app, when you're connecting it to the PS4, you're going to need to uh, enter this code. So let's go back onto the PS Vita now. So let's go ahead and focus it back in. So we need to go to Remote Play. Or, excuse me, not Remote Play. I kind of messed up. Okay. Go here to Settings. Change PS4 System to Connect to Remote Play. So click on that. Uh, and then you need to type the code that you see on the screen. So 6960. Let's see, 6960. Okay. Okay, 2774. Enter. So once you've entered it, you need to hit register. And it's going to search for the PS4. And the PS4, there we go. It says it's please wait. So it's trying to establish a connection. There we go. Now it's going to. And as you can see up in the top corner, it says that I have connected via remote play. And we should see the PS4 screen. There we are. So as you can see, it is mirrored. You can see the exact same thing on the PS Vita as you do on the TV screen. So uh, you can now use the PS Vita essentially as a controller. So as you can see here, everything is being mirrored. So we can hit, say, a PlayStation button here. If you want to go back home, hit that. and It'll bring you back. So as you can see there, we have an identical mirrored display on both screens. Pretty cool, and it's really fast and smooth, as you can see if you check that private uh, network option. But anyway, that is how you connect the PS Vita via Remote Play to the PS4 console. So, uh, I hope you, this video has helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, let me get back into focus. So if you have any questions, leave those questions in the comment section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And also, subscribe uh, down below as well. Helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated uh thumbs up the video and that's basically it so once again hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys thought it was helpful and i will see you guys in the next one peace out